At the edge of the Hidden Leaf Village, where the sky meets the earth, lies a place known as the Valley of the End. This valley, carved by the forces of nature and the wills of powerful ninjas, is a monument to the epic clashes that have shaped the course of history. It is here that the final battle between Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha will take place. A battle that will determine the future of the ninja world and redefine the meaning of brotherhood. The Valley of the End stands as a silent witness to the conflicts that have unfolded over generations. The towering statues of Hashirama Senju and Madara Uchiha, two of the greatest ninjas to ever live, overlook the battlefield. Their stone visages represent the ideals and struggles of the past. But today, those same ideals will be tested once more by two young warriors whose destinies have been intertwined since childhood. Naruto and Sasuke, friends, rivals, and brothers in all but blood, now stand at opposite ends of the valley, prepared to settle their differences once and for all. This is not just a battle of strength, it is a confrontation of ideals, a clash between two paths that have led them to this final moment. As they prepare to face each other, the fate of the ninja world hangs in the balance, and the bonds they share will be tested like never before. Naruto's Journey Naruto Uzumaki's journey is one of perseverance, hope, and an unyielding belief in the power of bonds. Born into a world that feared and shunned him for being the vessel of the Nine Tails, Naruto spent his early years as an outcast, desperate for recognition and acceptance. But through sheer determination and an unbreakable spirit, Naruto transformed himself from the village's troublemaker into its greatest hero. Naruto's belief in the strength of bonds has always been at the core of his character. From his friendships with Team Seven, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi, to his relationships with the people of the Hidden Leaf Village, Naruto has always fought to protect those he cares about. His journey has been defined by his refusal to give up on others. Even when the odds are stacked against him, this belief will be put to the ultimate test in his final battle against Sasuke. Sasuke's Path of Vengeance In stark contrast to Naruto, Sasuke Uchiha's path has been one of darkness and vengeance. As a child, Sasuke witnessed the massacre of his entire clan at the hands of his older brother, Itachi Uchiha. This traumatic event left Sasuke with a burning desire for revenge, a desire that consumed him and drove him to seek power at any cost. For Sasuke, the bonds he once cherished became chains that held him back from achieving his goal of avenging his clan. Sasuke's pursuit of vengeance led him down a dangerous path. He abandoned the Hidden Leaf Village, seeking power from Orochimaru and later aligning himself with other dangerous forces. Sasuke's journey was one of isolation, as he cut ties with those who cared about him in order to focus on his mission. But even as he grew stronger, the pain of his past continued to haunt him, pushing him further into darkness. Naruto and Sasuke's bond was first forged in the early days of Team 7, under the guidance of Kakashi Hatake. Alongside Sakura Haruno, the three young ninjas embarked on numerous missions, each one bringing them closer together. Despite their differences, Naruto and Sasuke developed a deep, albeit complicated, friendship. They pushed each other to become stronger, each secretly admiring the other's strengths. However, as their bond grew, so did their rivalry. Sasuke's jealousy of Naruto's rapid growth, coupled with his own unresolved trauma, led him to question his place in the team. This internal conflict reached a breaking point when Sasuke decided to leave the village in pursuit of greater power. Naruto, refusing to let his friend slip into darkness, vowed to bring Sasuke back, setting the stage for their eventual showdown. The Diverging Paths As Naruto and Sasuke's paths diverged, the bond they once shared began to fracture. Sasuke's departure from the village marked the beginning of a long and painful journey for both of them. While Sasuke sought power through vengeance, Naruto embarked on a mission to save his friend. Driven by the belief that their bond could be restored, this pursuit would lead them to numerous confrontations, each one intensifying the emotional stakes of their relationship. Sasuke's descent into darkness saw him commit acts that further distanced him from Naruto and the village. His battles with powerful enemies, such as Itachi and Danzo, were all part of his quest to sever his ties with the past and create a new future on his own terms. Meanwhile, Naruto continued to grow stronger, honing his abilities and deepening his understanding of the true nature of bonds and power. The battles along the way. Throughout their journey, Naruto and Sasuke clashed several times, each battle revealing more about their evolving ideologies. Their first major confrontation at the Valley of the End, where Sasuke attempted to sever their bond for good, was a turning point. Despite Naruto's best efforts, Sasuke's determination to walk his path alone led to his victory, leaving Naruto with the painful realization that their friendship might be lost forever. 
but Naruto refused to give up. As the fourth great ninja war approached, both Naruto and Sasuke underwent significant transformations. Naruto, having mastered the power of the Nine Tails and the Sage of Six Paths, became the village's greatest hope. Sasuke, having learned the truth about Itachi and awakening the Rinnegan, sought to become a force of change, one that would reshape the world through destruction and rebirth. The Ultimate Confrontation the final battle between Naruto and Sasuke was inevitable. After the defeat of Kaguya Otsutsuki, the two warriors found themselves at the Valley of the End once more. This time, however, stakes were even higher. Sasuke, now determined to destroy the current system and rebuild it in his own image, saw Naruto as the final obstacle in his path. Naruto, on the other hand, knew that this battle was not just about power, it was about saving his friend from the darkness that had consumed him. As they prepared to face each other, the weight of their past battles, their shared history, and the future of the ninja world hung heavy in the air. This was not just a fight for victory. It was a fight for understanding, for redemption, and for the future of their bond. As the final battle begins. The first clash, the Valley of the End, a place steeped in history and bloodshed, once again became the stage for a battle that would determine the future. Naruto and Sasuke stood on opposite sides of the valley, the colossal statues of Hashirama and Madara looming over them as silent witnesses. The air crackled with tension as the two former friends, now bitter rivals, prepared to settle their differences once and for all. The first clash was explosive. Naruto, wielding the power of the Sage of Six Paths and the Nine Tails, unleashed a barrage of Rasengans and Shadow Clones, each one infused with incredible power. Sasuke, with his Rinnegan and Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, countered with a devastating combination of Chidori and Amaterasu, his eyes blazing with determination. The force of their attacks shook the valley, causing the ground to tremble and the river to surge with fury. But this was not just a battle of techniques, it was a battle of wills. Each blow carried with it the weight of their shared history, their hopes, and their regrets. Naruto fought with the resolve to bring Sasuke back, to restore their bond and save his friend from the darkness. Sasuke, however, fought to sever that bond, believing that only through solitude and power could he achieve his vision of the future. Sasuke's Intentions As the battle raged on, it became clear that Sasuke's intentions were far more complex than simply defeating Naruto. Sasuke believed that the current system of the ninja world was flawed, built on a cycle of hatred and violence that could only be broken by destroying it entirely. He saw himself as the only one strong enough to bear the burden of this darkness, willing to sacrifice everything, including his own humanity, to create a new world. Naruto, however, refused to accept this vision. He understood the pain that had driven Sasuke to this point, but he also believed that there was another way, a way that did not involve abandoning the bonds that made them who they were. Naruto's determination to save Sasuke was not just about stopping him from committing another atrocity. It was about showing him that there was still hope, that their bond could be a source of strength rather than a weakness. Naruto's resolve. Naruto's resolve was unbreakable. Throughout the battle, he absorbed Sasuke's attacks, countered with his own, and refused to back down. Even as Sasuke pushed him to his limits, Naruto continued to fight, driven by the belief that he could reach his friend. His heart ached with the knowledge that this battle was not just about power, it was about the bond they had shared, the memories they had created, and the future they could still have. As the battle intensified, Naruto and Sasuke unleashed their most powerful techniques, each one a testament to their growth and determination. But beneath the surface, it was clear that this was not just a physical confrontation. It was an emotional and philosophical struggle. Naruto's belief in the power of bonds clashed with Sasuke's desire for solitude, and the outcome of this battle would determine which path would prevail. The battle between Naruto and Sasuke was more than just a fight, it was a clash of ideals. Naruto, who had always believed in the strength of bonds and the power of friendship, fought with the conviction that no one should have to bear the burden of darkness alone. Sasuke, on the other hand, believed that the only way to protect the world was to destroy it and rebuild it from the ground up, with himself as the sole guardian. Their ideals were reflected in their fighting styles. Naruto's techniques were a reflection of his connections with others, his use of the Rasengan, a technique passed down to him by his mentors, and his reliance on shadow clones, a symbol of his belief in teamwork. Sasuke's techniques, However, rooted in solitude and power, his Chidori, a technique he had perfected on his own, and his use of the Rinnegan and Mangekyo Sharingan, symbols of his cursed lineage and the burden he carried. 
As they clashed, the differences in their ideologies became more pronounced. Naruto fought to protect the future, to create a world where bonds could flourish, while Sasuke fought to destroy the past, to erase the pain and suffering that had defined their lives. But as the battle wore on, it became clear that neither path was without its flaws, and both Naruto and Sasuke began to question the validity of their beliefs. As the battle reached its peak, both Naruto and Sasuke unleashed their full power. Naruto, drawing on the power of the Sage of Six Paths and the Nine Tails, entered his most powerful form, Sage of Six Paths mode, a transformation that granted him unparalleled strength and speed. Sasuke, not to be outdone, activated his Rinnegan, using its abilities to manipulate space and time, and combining it with the power of his eternal Mangekyo Sharingan to create devastating attacks. The valley was engulfed in a storm of energy as the two warriors clashed, their techniques creating shock waves that tore through the landscape. Naruto's Risen Shuriken collided with Sasuke's Indra's arrow, creating an explosion that lit up the sky and sent tremors through the earth. The force of their attacks was so great that it seemed as though the very world itself would be torn apart. But even as they fought with all their might, it became clear that this battle was not just about physical strength, it was about their emotions, their beliefs, and the bond they shared. Each attack was a manifestation of their resolve, their hopes, and their fears. And as the battle wore on, both Naruto and Sasuke began to realize that the true strength did not come from power alone. It came from understanding, from connection, and from the bonds they had formed over the years. As the battle dragged on, the emotional toll began to weigh heavily on both Naruto and Sasuke. The physical exhaustion was evident, but it was the emotional strain that truly threatened to break them. Each blow, each technique, was a reminder of the bond they once shared. A bond that had been twisted and strained by the events that had led them to this moment. Naruto's heart ached with the knowledge that he was fighting his closest friend. A friend he had shared so many memories with. He remembered the times they had spent together as teammates. The times they had laughed and trained together and the times they had fought side by side, but now they were fighting against each other, and the weight of that reality was almost too much to bear. Sasuke, who was not immune to the emotional strain, as much as he tried to convince himself that this was necessary, that he had to sever his bond with Naruto in order to move forward, a part of him still clung to the memories of their friendship, he remembered the times Naruto had stood by him, the times Naruto had believed in him when no one else did, and as the battle raged on, Sasuke began to question whether he was truly fighting for the right reasons. Final Exchange The battle between Naruto and Sasuke had reached its climax. Both warriors, exhausted and out of chakra, prepared to deliver their final attacks, Sasuke with his Chidori and Naruto with his Rasengan. They knew that this would be the decisive moment, the moment that would determine the outcome of their fight and the future of their bond. As they charged at each other, time seemed to slow down, the memories of their past battles, their shared history, and the bond that had brought them to this point flashed through their minds. They both knew that this was not just about power, it was about understanding, about forgiveness, and about the future they wanted to create. When their attacks finally collided, the impact was cataclysmic. A massive explosion of energy engulfed the valley, shaking the ground and sending shockwaves through the air. The force of their attacks was so great that it seemed as though the very fabric of reality would be torn apart, and when the dust finally settled, both Naruto and Sasuke lay on the ground, their bodies battered and broken, but their spirits unyielding. In the aftermath of the battle, the valley was silent. The once mighty statues of Hashirama and Madara had been reduced to rubble, and the river that flowed through the valley was stained with blood. Naruto and Sasuke, now too exhausted to move, lay side by side, their arms blown off by the force of their final clash. But even in their weakened state, there was a sense of peace, a sense that the battle had finally come to an end. As they looked at each other, there was no longer any anger, no longer any hatred. Instead, there was a mutual understanding, a recognition of the bond that had brought them to this point. They had fought not just as rivals, but as brothers, and in that moment, they finally understood each other's pain. As they lay there, Sasuke began to reflect on everything that had led him to this moment. He realized that his quest for power, his desire to sever his bonds, had only brought him pain and suffering. But Naruto, who had fought to protect those bonds, had shown him that there was another way. A way that did not involve solitude and destruction, but understanding and connection. For the first time, Sasuke allowed himself to see the world through Naruto's eyes. He saw the strength that came from bonds, the power that came from friendship, and the hope that came from believing in others. And in that moment, Sasuke realized that he had been wrong, that the true path to peace was not through power, but through the bonds that connected them all. With his newfound understanding, 
Sasuke finally accepted Naruto's hand in friendship. This moment of reconciliation was a powerful symbol of the end of their rivalry and the beginning of a new understanding between them. The bond that had once been strained and twisted by the events of their past was now stronger than ever. Forged in the fires of their final battle, Naruto and Sasuke's reconciliation marked the end of the conflict that had defined their lives for so long. It was a moment of healing, of forgiveness, and of redemption. They had fought as enemies, but they had emerged as brothers, their bond now stronger than ever. And with this reconciliation, they set the stage for a new future, a future where the cycle of hatred could finally be broken and the bonds of friendship could prevail. As they returned to the Hidden Leaf Village, Naruto and Sasuke knew that their bond would continue to shape the future of the ninja world. They had both grown stronger through their journey, not just in terms of power, but in terms of understanding and connection. Their final battle had redefined their relationship, transforming their rivalry into a deep brotherhood that would guide them in the years to come. Naruto, now the village's greatest hero, would continue to fight for the bonds he cherished, always striving to protect those he loved. Sasuke, having found a new purpose, would dedicate himself to protecting the village from the shadows, using his strength to ensure that the cycle of hatred would not repeat itself. Together, they would work to create a world where bonds could flourish, where peace could be achieved, and where the sacrifices of the past would not be in vain. The final battle between Naruto and Sasuke was more than just a fight, it was a defining moment in the Naruto series, one that highlighted the themes of forgiveness, redemption, and the enduring power of bonds. It was a battle that challenged their beliefs, tested their resolve, and ultimately brought them closer together as brothers. In the end, the battle redefined their relationship, transforming their rivalry into a deep brotherhood that would shape the future of the ninja world. It was a powerful reminder that, no matter how far we may stray from the path, the bonds we share with others can always guide us back to the light. And in that light, we can find the strength to overcome any obstacle, to heal any wound, and to create a better future for ourselves and those we love.